Okay. Now, in order for this glitch to work, you are going to have to be in Sector Zero, or what we call Old Town. Old Town is the second part of the campaign, which has these Italian-like rooftops. What you're going to need to do is complete the very first mission, which will bring you to the second one, which makes you go to Haran University, which is in the northwest corner of the map. The only skills you're going to need for this glitch is under the power skill tree and it is stomp where it allows you to execute your enemy from overhead if they are on the ground or climbing up to you for the inventory i have two guns just to make noise i have one bat in case anything gets too close to me but of course a grappling hook and the flashlight in case things get out of hand with the volatiles what you're gonna want to do is go to the store clerk in here i think i've already bought it from him now they have more you're going to want to max out your pistol and your rifle ammo if you have a shotgun do that as well the, the more guns the better because you just want to make noise for this one so as soon as you walk out there is a cable right in front of you with two lamps okay not the left one you're gonna want to be on the right one okay the right one is where the glitch is gonna take place but what you need to do is start a pursuit first so let's go up here let's get some volatiles to spawn as you can see in the top right of the map there are some on screen so with the pursuit started, you're going to want to jump down onto the lamp. I don't even have any med kits, so if I were to get attacked right now, it would be really bad. It is good to keep some on you, but all you have to do is simply sit here and execute all these enemies. You can do this for the entirety of the night. You can do it in short spurts and run away if you want to also level up your agility. It is entirely up to you. The reason I advise you have a gun is because when the spitter volatiles show up, or the ones with the horns all over their body and thorns sticking out of them, you're gonna wanna kill those guys because they'll ruin this whole glitch by shooting, spitting at you. Even if a regular volatile climbs up here, you can kick them down. It doesn't happen very often early in the night, but as the other volatiles start to show up, they will do it. See, look, here comes one of the thorn, thorn ones now. He's a pain in the ass. We're gonna try and kill him real quick. Ah, but you don't wanna fall. Very easy, if it looks like you are falling while you're killing them, just make sure you're jumping as soon as you're finishing the execution motion. It'll re-grab the ledge, and you'll make sure you don't fall off. Because if you fall down there, you most likely will die. I have 55 HP, so there's no chance of me ever surviving falling down there. Nice, he impaled himself. That's what I like to see. Now you can see for each one of these I kill, I'm getting upwards of 300, 400, you know, 600 for some of them. So as long as I keep killing volatiles, um, I'll keep getting way more XP. And not to mention when all of this is over, there's going to be a mass amount of ground loot for you to go and uh, grab. Oh shit, volatiles. Um, still clearly nighttime. If you look, it's 2 a.m. now on the clock. So I started this at 10 p.m. their time, so I've been doing this for four hours of game time. Nash looks like that you can get. Oh, gotta get shot, gotta get shot. It's okay that I died, because it's a good time to show you guys that even if you do die, you can go back and all the ground loot is there and the enemies are still outside. No, I do not have extra med kits. I did not lose out on any of the XP that I just gained. If you look, I'm still level 17. And if you look on the map, all the enemies are still here. So all I simply need to do is shoot a handful of times. They'll come right back. It is only 2.53 in game. I have only lost 50 minutes of doing this in game time, which is nothing. See, if you see now, both volatiles are spinning at me. Make quick work of that one. Flash. See if it works. Uh, it doesn't look like it's working. But it's okay, because you're right next to the university. So if you get stuck down there, you can easily jump back. You look at the clock, it's 4.30 now. You can hear the bell starting to toll. That means that the night is over. They're about to start running away. Once everybody clears out, I can chill for a second. Need an extra 5,000 XP and survivor points. And let's see, starting I have 12,500 cash. And with that being said, I now have 
$15,000. So he picked up $2,500 worth of ground loot from one night of, of glitching my power level. We leveled up power again, so now we have another move I can I can unlock. And when you sleep and you wake up, the shopper the shopkeep's gun ammo should have replenished. Go right over to the shopkeep. Of the twenty five hundred dollars you just made, you go down to his ammo and you buy six hundred of this and six hundred of that. So you made a, you still profited twelve fifty in in ground cash. The ground, the night has started again, and you hop back up, and you can go for it again. Level up your power. There you go. There you have it. So if this video helped you guys, just do me a favor and leave a like at the bottom of the video, and go ahead and drop a subscribe for me. That's completely free and it helps out so much. There's plenty more content coming on the way, and I have not even touched the DLC yet, the following. So I'm super excited to get into that with me just getting back into playing this.